Hey, what's going on? I'm Brandon. I'm a guy who flies and welcome back to my channel. So for those of you who are just joining me, I am a Denver based flight attendant. I have been flying for about almost five months. Um, and I've learned so much so very quickly today me and my baby T have come to share with you over the course of the five months that I've been working I quickly understand how first-time passengers returning passengers passengers in general are often confused by the lingo the verbiage that we use in the airline industry so today I have come to offer my random act of kindness and share with you what we really mean when we say blank. So if you're in the airport, if you are in, on the aircraft, if you are engaging with the flight attendant, if you're listening to an announcement, there are some words and phrases that you'll hear. And based on the way people respond, I'm 80% sure that most passengers don't understand what some of these words mean. Now I was inspired for this. I was actually on Facebook and I came across a post um, from another flight attendant with, that was basically like what I'm really saying and I was like oh my god that is dead on and so um, I took the list that I got from that post but I also added in some of my own words um, and so I'll be actually using my own definition. Alright so the first one, first word that we're going to say uh, board, that means to get on, board the aircraft, get on the aircraft. Next one, the plane, get off, the plane, get off the plane, it's time for you to get off. Bye bye now. Uh, forward, that's the front of the plane, or the cabin. Aft, that's the back of the cabin. Uh, the galley, that is the office, kitchen, storage room, all catch all room that the flight attendants use. It is a space for the flight attendants. It's the flight attendants' workspace, not a space for you to hang out or do yoga. Laboratory, bathroom. There are three laboratories on our aircraft. There's three bathrooms, restaurants. Pick your word. It's where you relieve yourself. Occupy. Somebody's in there. Sir, well, sir, the laboratory's occupied. They reach for the handle. Sir, somebody's in there. Oh, I didn't know. Well, there you are. Vacant. That means empty. You need something, sir? Yeah, I'm just waiting for the laboratory. It's vacant. You may go in. It's empty. Uh, next one. Uh, utilize. That comes from the word use. So when we say today in San Juan, we utilize afty planing. That means we use the back door. <laughs> Get off in the back. Uh, next one, expedite. The expedite the boarding process. Speed up, hurry up, come on, let's go. Purchase, that means to buy. Um, can I move to that seat up there? Uh, if you'd like to purchase an upgrade, you have to pay for it. On the other hand, complimentary. What is complimentary, sir? That means it's free. You don't have to pay for it. <laughs> this is my favorite one. Eliminated. Please remain seated anytime the seatbelt sign is illuminated. That means on. <laughs> Turn on. Lit up. Turbulence. Bumps. Those are road bumps in the sky. Flotation device. That's the floaty you wear in the event that this plane turns into a cruise ship. Inflate. Blow up. Oxygen mask. That might inflate or might not inflate. That life vest. Better hope that inflates. Uh, next one. Fasten. That means to buckle. Put in. Man, please fasten your seatbelt. Fasten your seatbelt. Buckle your seatbelt. Luggage. The bags you brought with you. Your suitcase. Luggage. Suitcase. Baggage. Personal belongings. Your baggage. Plus your backpack and or purse and or shopping bags from Duty Free and or your bag from McDonald's. Those are all of your personal belongings. Favorite word, stow, put away. And we need your assistance in repairing the cabin. Please stow all carry-on items. Put away, put it under, put it up, put it in, put it away. Stow, to put away. Mechanical, ladies and gentlemen, we're experiencing a slight mechanical delay. That means something is broken. It can get fixed, like something is broken. Um, congregating, please refrain from congregating in the aisles, galleys, and laboratory. Congregating, hanging out, standing around, clumping together in this metal tube. Customer service representative, gate agent. The person standing at the podium or at the desk, gate. Customer service representative. Regulation. That's a rule. Federal aviation regulations require. Regulation. That's just a rule. You have to do it. Compliant. Comes from the word comply, which means I'm telling you that you're going to agree to do what I'm about to tell you. Comply with this. Do it. Agree to do it. Federal aviation require passenger compliance. FAA. Federal Aviation Administration. They make federal aviation regulations. That's the government. <laughs> The people who determine how we operate in the Transportation and Aviation Administration. The FAA. The government. Destination. That's where you're going. If Denver is your final destination, you may claim your check luggage. Carousels 2 or 3 Terminal East. Destination where you're going. Divert. 
That means we're not gonna go where we're supposed to go because we're gotta go somewhere where nobody wants to go. Please fasten your seatbelt. Depart, separate, to leave, exit, depart from the plane. Similar to deplane, but depart. Also known as, as soon as we receive this final paperwork, we'll be able to depart, push back. You need all passengers seated before we can depart. Please come out of the restroom, sir, so we can leave. Uh, next one, prohibit. The next three all mean no. Prohibit means no, do not, cannot, should not. Not permitted, permit means to do. Not permitted, not to do. And lastly, refrain. Don't do it. That's what that means. Please refrain from congregating in the Alcalis Laboratory. Do not stand in the galley. Federal Aviation prohibits smoking of any kind. Do not smoke. So, those are just a couple words that, or phrases, that I come across often in my day-to-day -day workings as a flight attendant that many passengers do not understand. So, let's make 2020 great for flight attendants all across the world by just liking, commenting, sharing this video with someone. Share this video with someone you know who plans to travel this year. I don't care if they've traveled a thousand times or if this is their first time traveling. Share this video. They just might learn something and they just might save themselves. Again, I'm Brandon. Thanks for watching. Be easy. Die.